This is Strange Theory. One time we had a, a small plane go down somewhere in Africa, and we were not able to find it by surveillance. So the director of the CIA heard about a woman in California that uh, was a medium or something. I don't know the title for And she gave him the latitude and longitude of the plane's whereabouts. We located the plane where she said it was. And that's the only time that I have ever experienced something that was inexplicable while I was present. That was U.S. President Jimmy Carter referring to the work of Russell Targ and Hal Putoff of the Stanford Research Institute. Their top secret work, collectively known as Project Stargate, was funded by the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency from 1972 to 1995, when it was reportedly discontinued based on a CIA report concluding, and I quote, the project was never useful in any intelligence operations. The Men Who Stare at Goats was a 2009 comedy starring George Clooney that poked fun at the project. But all jokes aside, it makes one wonder why the U.S. government would support any so-called pseudoscientific research for a quarter century if the results weren't a little intriguing. It's widely known the serious study of psi phenomena is career suicide for any scientist willing to take the risk. So before we continue, a quick word on the credentials of the two SRI researchers for context. Russell Targ earned a bachelor's degree in physics with graduate work at Columbia University. He's the recipient of two awards for his work in lasers and laser communications from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA. His partner, Hal Putoff, has a PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford University and holds two U.S. patents in turntable lasers and electron beam devices. So it seems fair to say they might know a thing or two about science. The main area of study during Project Stargate was remote viewing, which is the ability to see distant places without physically being there. It's no wonder why the U.S. government would be interested in this field of work. One of the more interesting precognitive results took place with Hella Hammett. The researchers described her as one of the most talented psychics in the program. Here's what happened. Hammett was asked to describe the location researcher Hal Putoff would be visiting 30 minutes into the future. I've got a quick flash of a black pointed area, um, like, a, like a head of an arrow. Um, he walks into it. It's like a triangle that he walks into. Just a very rhythmic squeaking. That's pretty vague, but bear with me. While her prediction was being recorded, Hal Putoff was busy driving around Palo Alto, California with no place to go. After his 30 minute waiting period was up, he took out 10 sealed envelopes, each containing a different target location. He used a random number generator to select which of the envelopes to open, and inside found the address of a small park about six miles from its current location. When he got to the park, he saw a playground with a set of swings and decided to kill some time by walking over. When he got there, he took a seat. It being a swing and all, his momentum caused it to gently move back and forth, making a rhythmic squeaking sound every second or so. Just a very rhythmic squeaking. When viewed from the side, the black support poles of the swing set made the shape of a triangle. It's like a triangle that he walks into. 